Okay, so I wanted to do a proper quick little video showing you about this whole Valentine's Day exploit thing. So there's a lot of confusion here and so a lot of people have some wrong ideas and it's, it's, it's a little confusing. So I'm just going to show you exactly what you need to do, nothing more. So what you're going to do, first things first, just send out your platypus. Don't even worry about it. Send them off, close the game. Close the bank game completely. That's right, Parker. Uh, force close it. You want to to make sure it's closed. It should start up with the uh, with the loading screen the next time it pops up. If it doesn't, uh, it's not force closed. That's right. So now, after the game is closed and the platypus is sent out, we're gonna open up date and time on our device. We're gonna go to select time zone. Uh, first thing we're gonna uncheck automatic time zone. What we're doing is changing the time zone by three hours. Um, I think any amount of time actually works, so don't really worry about this too much. Uh, but it's good to know how time zones work. So I'm in time zone GMT minus three. So GMT mi or minus six. So GMT minus three is three hours away from me. Simple enough. So I'm gonna change the time zone by three hours. Gonna open up the game. That's right, Parker. He has strong opinions about the Valentine's Day event too. I do as well. So like I said, if you do this right, the game should come up with the loading screen. You will unfortunately have to wait for the load quite a few times because this event is completely unfun and terrible. So that's nice. Uh, just, just a quick note, anybody who says they've already completed the event legit uh, without paying, uh, they're a filthy liar. There has only been six days of this event so far. Uh, there are 24 hours in a day. There are... you have to wait three times for every uh, platypus to get sent out. So that means there have been a maximum of 48 attempts at the platypus. So as you can see, I changed the time, so the platypus is back. Um, so there's a maximum of 48 attempts. And the problem with saying that you've already beat the event legit is that there's 57 items you need to get. So you've had 48 attempts plus the one free attempt. So if you see anybody on Facebook, because I have seen people on Facebook claiming they beat the event legit, never spending pearls, never spending in-app purchases, uh, they're straight up liars. Um, it's mathematically impossible, physically impossible. Um, they didn't do it. They're, they're, they're liars. And I don't know why they lie. I don't know why they defend the devs and, you know, straight up lie, because they pretty clearly used the exploit or they paid and they're embarrassed. Um, if you have paid for the Nimble Platypus, by the way, uh, you can get a refund, especially on um, on uh, the App Store on iOS. Um, tell them it's a Kampu Gacha that's illegal in Japan. Tell them you um, that it was misleading because it says only takes an hour to find all the coral seeds. A lot of people misled by this genuinely, by the way. Uh, that does not mean what it sounds like. It just brings back one item, just like the other platypus. Um, it, it does not bring everything back in one attempt. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, send off the platypus. A lot of people get this part wrong. So you're gonna send your platypus out again, and then you're gonna move back to your original time zone, GMT minus six, open it up. A lot of people think, oh no, uh, you gotta, you know, not send it from the future, because then it, when you go to the past, it'll be six hours behind, which normally you would be correct, but this is a very interesting bug, and it has some other side effects. Um, it refreshes the otter, the assistant otter, I think, that gives you farm materials and crap. Um, sometimes it respawns the treasure chest. It has some really weird effects. I'm honestly surprised it's this simple. There, there must be some weird thing in accounting for, for time zones. But yeah, as you can see, we're gonna see that the platypus is six hours away. Oh no, and it says complete now, 700 pearls. I don't have 700 pearls, but what if I just tap this button. Oh, it's back. Yeah, just ignore that button, just tap it. If it says that it's gonna take over three hours, it's completely safe to just tap complete now. It will not take away your pearls. And uh, do not fear pressing the button, because let me show you something interesting. Um, if it is legitimately going to cost you pearls, it will actually come up with this complete now pop-up before it spends the pearls. So it's completely safe to do that, um, completely 100% safe. You will never accidentally um, buy pearls without confirming. So yeah, this is exactly as easy as it looks, as easy as it sounds. Um, another thing, a lot of people are flipping out and thinking, oh, they released a bug fix update. Um, so did they fix the exploit? And some people are just straight up saying it doesn't work anymore, they fixed the exploit. Uh, those people are wrong. Um, and another thing, um, some people accidentally change the time instead of the time zone. You gotta change the time zone. Not the location, but the time zone. 
If you just change the clock, the game knows and it doesn't work. Um, and it will also not work if you don't close the app completely. Um, but like I was saying, there is an update for the store. All that does is they accidentally left in the bonus where the, uh, if you bought the polar bear thing last year, or last Christmas, you would get, you would get the, um, you would get two roses instead of one. Uh, so they fixed that. So, I mean, obviously, if it's a helpful bug, they gotta fix it. Uh, if it's a devastating bug, like the game deleting your roses, uh, they just leave that in. Oh, oh, huge warning, huge warning. Should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, do not go into VR mode. This little... Oh, this phone doesn't even have it. Oh, this is... It's not a phone. But don't go into VR mode. Does it... Where... How do you get into VR mode? I think only some devices support VR mode. Don't go into VR mode. Don't view your friend's tanks in the little Facebook thing here at the top. Um, don't do that. Because that can erase all of your roses. Not kidding. There's a bug that deletes all of your roses. Um... If that does happen, um, tell the devs that it happened and how many roses you got. Um, you might want to uh, take a screenshot before you do like anything in this update. If you've got a lot of roses, just so you can be sure. Um, but yeah, if you lose your roses, send the amount of roses and uh, your user tag, which is in that gear menu at the top there, um, to their Facebook support. Or you can email them with the little inbox support button in the gear menu. Um, they should get you covered. Um, that's pretty much it. See, so, um, oh yeah, just some quick stats. So this, you'll need about 100 pulls on average, maybe 90 to be, you know, on the low side. Um, so that's about 500, or 50,000 A, or 50,000 roses. So 50 A roses is what you need. Um, you can get a little bit lucky, but you know, it's a gosh upon. The minimum, theoretically, is 57 pulls, like I mentioned earlier. You're not going to get that lucky. There's 2017 fish. Um, oh, and also another bug. Um, so, a lot of people are wondering, how you how do you update the platypus? Um, just, just keep sending the platypus out. Uh, once all of the seeds for the coral that you can unlock have been uh, registered and planted, um, it will upgrade. If it does not upgrade, that is another bug that exists in this version. Uh, what a wonderfully buggy game. Um, if that happens, uh, message the devs again. I, I have not heard of anyone having this fixed, so it is a pretty scary bug. And I don't know if there's anything that you can do about it. Oh, and the thing that deletes your roses, uh, if you switch devices, like on Nox app player, that can also happen. So, um... Yeah, be, 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 be careful. Like, if you load a cloud save specifically, that's, that's when it happens. So yeah, be... Be careful of this mess. Isn't, isn't it great that such an incredibly unfun and unfair event has so many major bugs in it? That's... That's great. If you don't know why I'm complaining about the event, you must have been in a coma for the last seven days. So, welcome back! And um, check out some of my other videos on my Facebook or the written guide on my site, sirtabdab.com slash Um Any of those will inform you of the lurking horrors of this event. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's, that's, that's the quick way to do the thing. And um, I hope you have fun exploiting this and not doing it the way the devs want, because the, de the way the devs want is that you can't beat it without paying. That's really, if you look at the design, it's really clear that you're just not supposed to be able to finish this without paying the, for the in-app purchase. Uh, the in-app purchase, it's been upgraded from being like twice as easy if you pay 10 bucks to being almost infinitely easier. It's ridiculous. And honestly, if the event was just, hey, $10 and you get all of the things and you can't get them without paying, um, I wouldn't be a huge fan of that, but I don't think it would be nearly as big of a deal. Like, they could just split off into having paid events and free events if they were going to do something like that. Because, like, the intent here is that you can't do it without paying. That, that's the intent, and it's gross. And it's like, if they just wanted to make it like a DLC, like, I wouldn't really be super opposed to that. Just make it worth the ten bucks, but, like, making the game unfun if you don't pay the ten bucks? Uh, that's a jerk move. Anyway, I've already... I have like two or three live stream archives where you can hear me kvetch for like an hour or two. So if you if you want that, there, there already is that. Well, 
I would say have fun, but you won't. So, uh, good luck. We're all counting on you.